Brandon Moon with Leland Fly Fishing. I want to welcome you to Fly Tying Night tonight. Tonight we're going to be tying up a really cool Starling and Olive soft tackle spider pattern inspired from patterns of old in the British Isles. They use this to imitate blue wing olives all the time. Great little pattern to fish with that. I want to invite you to make sure that you like the video. Make sure you hit the subscribe button, the bell to receive future notification. Leave us a comment and share the video as well. All these steps together really help us get our content out and seen by other people. The hook I'm using and put in the vise today is the Moonlit Premium Tagata. ML102 in a size 16. So I laid a nice thread base on this and now I'm going to take an alcohol marker because the alcohol doesn't bleed. And I'm just going to create with this darker green color a nice differentiation for my ribbing there. You can see I created a thread body down to the tip of that bend or the tip of that hook point there and I started this at about three quarters mark here and I'm just going to create a little bit of a taper and I marked my thread just at the beginning so that I can allow my alcohol to really just kind of dry up a little bit. The thread I'm using on this is the Semperfly Classic Wax 12 Aught. It's their new watery olive. I really like this color. Works well for either a blue wing olive or even a PMD kind of has the shade that's going to allow you to use it for both. But primarily it's going to be the P or the blue wing olives that I use this for. We'll just create a taper to the body. It's not traditional, that's just the way I like it. So I'll create that taper with my thread going back and forth. Now I'll just half hitch that so that I can wrap using my rotary feature. And you can see that by coloring that thread with this darker green color I get a nice clean segmentation. I don't have the bulk of a wire that I have to worry about making and creating an odd shape to my body. And it's less expensive. It's faster. I'll just take and trim that piece out. Now I'm going to take some black dubbing. This is the Semperfly um, <clears throat> Club Dub in the Firecracker Black. It's going to have some black, red, and blue hues. I don't want very much because I don't want a real thick thorax. And I'll just create a nice noodle on there. And I want to make sure I don't crowd the eye of the hook here. And I'm staying and giving myself really about a, a hook eyes gap there. This thorax is just to kind of help splay out my hackle fibers. A little longer there, I'm going to trim that out. Now I'm going to take a starling feather. I'm just gonna, I already cleaned the bottom part off. I cleaned it up pretty much to where I got rid of all the fluffy gray feathers underneath so that it was pretty much all black. I'm gonna palmer these down and create a tie-in point right there.
I'm going to lay that on top, two wraps, pull that tip back. You can see it's just standing up out of the way there. Sometimes it's not perfect like that. Now I'm going to take, trim that tie-in point out. I'm going to take my hackle pliers, and I always tie mine in tip first. A lot of people tie theirs in with the butt stem first. I just make sure I don't pull super tight because Starling is a little more brittle rachis, but it's a thin rachis so it wraps nice and good. And you can see each wrap I'm palmering these fibers rearward using my fingers, but also the rachis or stem. to help push as many fibers rearward as possible naturally. Now I'll just secure that down with two wraps. Now I'm going to pull all the fibers rearward including the leftover stem. This is just going to hang help me clean that up a little bit and create the head on here. Take my whip finish tool and then three turns is my go-to when I'm whip finishing. We'll snip that out. I like a razor blade, they're cheap to get, and I don't have to worry about clipping anything, and I just clean that up with that. And then I'm going to take a little bit of head cement here, just for durability purposes. I'll kind of push my hackle fibers out of the way a little bit, set that on there. Let it dry just a second. And there you have a Starling and Olive Soft Hackle Spider. Again, if you find any value in this video, it helps us out a lot. If you make sure that you like the video, leave us a comment. Hit the subscribe button and the bell to receive future notification. And don't forget to share the video as well. I got a piece of that dubbing that's a little too long there. We'll clip that out. We appreciate your support and look forward to tying with you again next week. Have a wonderful day.